Yes, it's Galadon again, you all know that, but more importantly, it's the Clan Lost Phoenix announcing Battle, Battle Clans. Clans. Yes, you heard that right. We're expanding again now out to about 450 members in the Lost Phoenix family. Take a look at our four new clans, LP5 Titan, LP5 Griffin, LP6 Minotaur, and LP6 Pegasus. These clans have been created specifically to compete against each other, the fives and the sixes, competing for total trophy count. There will be blood, I mean gems. That's right, gem rewards to the winning clans each season. Be sure to check out the new LP5 and LP6 clans. You only need 1,000 trophies to get in, level 4 archers to get into the LP5s. Rules and requirements may change as time goes on, but please do check us out and join if you can. It should be a lot of fun. Limited to one entry per household. Employees who supersell their families, pets, and manservants are excluded from this contest. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. It's the official site for details. Non-donators will be promptly kicked. All right, so let's get down to business here. I did manage to squeeze in a couple of attacks over the last couple of weeks, and we've got the replays here. Beginning with this uh, somewhat rusty and not that effective attack on Prince of UAE Champions. So like the title mentions, we are spending some time here focusing on how to take out the King and the Queen, or the Royals as I affectionately like to call them. And there we had in slow motion just kind of showing using the wall breakers to get closer to the Royals to activate them. And now we've managed to pull them out to the side here, and here comes a mistake. As you can see from the freeze frame, the witches are off to the left there and right in line for that queen to go right after him. And sure enough, she wipes out one and then two witches pretty quickly before they have a chance to build up their skeletons. Normally those summoned skeletons and the barbarians you lay down work as a good meat shield while the rest of the units can take out the royals, but it didn't really work that way here. Eventually we do get the queen down, but not before she does a lot of damage. Also, in retrospect, I don't really like the angle that I came at this village from down here at the lower right. Probably should have come up by the top right. The clan castle got activated right away and didn't work to draw any of my troops in. Rather, the clan castle troops made it out and took out a bunch of my troops before they could get anywhere near the town hall. But by that point, it was already too late to change my strategy. We were in at the bottom here, so I did what I could. Almost a disaster there as the king and the queen were going to wrap around the side, but we got them in with another set of wall breakers. And just sheer force, we're going to manage to squeeze out 50% here, but we're just not going to have the troops remaining here at the end of this battle to take down the town hall. It is going to be close though. The king does manage to breach that last wall to the town hall. We've got the queen almost at full health. And this is where, like I always say, timing and placement of spells is critical. If I had saved a raid spell for right here, one, two, three, four, five shots, the town hall's down and it's two stars. Instead, the Inferno Tower takes her out and we have to settle for one. A few straggling troops down here, but not enough to get to that town hall. A couple of clear mistakes there that definitely cost me an extra eight trophies. Eight instead of 16. Oh well. All right, so let's move on to the second attack here, attacking me, Dave, of Korea Prime. And we are going to activate the king and the queen pretty quickly and drag them out here to the far east, just like in the previous attack. But this time you'll see that once we get the queen way out there, I'm going to dump another archer and then a whole bunch of barbarians here. And I will very carefully drop the witches behind those barbarians right there. They're going to stop summon a whole bunch of skeletons, a couple of wizards for firepower, and the king and the queen are going to go down relatively quickly here. Now I've begun my main attack at the bottom here with a golem, some wall breakers, and some wizards behind. And then up at the top there, another golem, more wall breakers, get taken out by that bomb, a few more wizards. And now as you notice here, the third golem's already in, and as I freeze it, you'll see that most of my troops are in a pretty small area, and that's going to end up hurting us in the long run. And then another critical development here in the attack, yes, goat milk is ready to be collected. But seriously, here comes the king and the queen, the rest of the wizards, the clan castle troops are headed towards me and I'm headed towards them. We've got a rage spell right in the middle of the conflagration of units. 
just a massive firefight right outside the town hall. There's a witch there that they're going to have to get to and take out there, and now they're inside. We're really close to the town hall. Freeze spell goes down, but once again there's a mistake. Did not freeze the left Inferno Tower, and that king gets zapped. But the queen is alive and well and under rage, and in about four shots, the town hall is history. But that's only one star, and as you can see, almost all the units are down now. We've got the queen and maybe a golem there. And even though the queen's almost at full health, it's not going to be enough to get anywhere near 50%. We're only at 33%. Queen will go down the last of the units and will end up with another one star victory. Only six trophies where it should have been 12. All right, so we move on to this attack against Monique 1 of Clashers on Fire. Got some lower level walls here and not maximum level king and queen, but that won't stop us from failing to get two stars. And here they come, being pulled out to the very edge of the map, away from any defensive structures. The barbarians go down, the witch is safely behind, and a whole bunch of skeletons. A couple of wizards, and this time the king and then queen will go down like clockwork in a flawless royal assassination. And that is where the flawlessness of this attack ends. We're going to go ahead and drop a golem down there at the bottom. He safely protects those wall breakers. Golem up at the top. Wall breakers trying to get through that wall there. Not quite. Some more in the middle. Here comes the clan castle troops. All three golems are down. Big spread of wizards coming out. Here come a whole bunch of clan castle troops. The last of the wall breakers are coming in. I guess I've forgotten where the rage spell button is on the iPad. Finally, the king and the queen come down. The troops are spread out pretty widely here, and there's a whole bunch of different walls at weird angles. And finally, the rage spell comes down, and that one wizard is going to use it really effectively. <laughs> the king and the queen are off to the left here, just kind of meandering around, taking out other structures as they see fit. Oh, well, there's a whole bunch of rage spells there, but they don't do a whole lot of good either. King and the queen way around the outside. Town hall is safely defended by the infernos and the teslas. And it's going to be up to the king and the queen now to at least save us and get us one star. And luckily they do get 50% and we can put an end to this embarrassment and move on to the next attack. Yes, I earned a whopping 11 trophies, which hurts even more knowing it would have been 22. So here comes the final attack of the day against Pete of Indo Eternity. More low-level walls and even lower-level king and queen this time. We'll see if the uh, rust can come off the attacks here. This is what happens when you attack about once every three days. And predictably, I've pulled out the king and the queen to the far east and effectively deployed the barbarians and the witches again this time. Except for that one wizard, not so smart. He was not protected and he got wiped out instantly by the queen. And I've begun the attack here before waiting to finish off the queen. Golem at the bottom, Golem at the top, wall breakers once again get taken out by a big bomb there. But we've got the uh, areas open, we've spread some wizards around. The last of the wall breakers are coming through, and where we see the clan castle troops building up there, I went ahead and dropped the king and the queen, hoping that they would head towards that confrontation, and they will eventually get there. The rage spell is pretty well placed, most of the units are going to utilize it there and eventually wipe out the clan castle troops. We work our way a little bit closer to the town hall. We're going to drop another rage spell there, just trying to encompass whichever way the troops go. And the king goes one way, and the queen eventually is going to head towards the town hall enclosure. We freeze that inferno tower. She's almost at full health. Shouldn't have a problem getting through those structures there under rage. And there is the town hall going down. We didn't even need to activate her special ability there, but we do anyway and 50% second star and that will wrap up an 11 trophy win and that will also wrap up this episode of clash of clans attacks thanks again for watching check us out on facebook and twitter and more importantly look up lp5 and lp6 you'll find them under the abbreviations lp don't search the full words but search instead for lp5 titan lp5 griffin LP6 Minotaur, and LP6 Pegasus. A little friendly competition and free gems as we continue to grow the Lost Phoenix family. And a special thank you goes out to Jinsei of Lost Phoenix 2, the creative genius behind these beautiful logos. 
And before I go, just wanted to give a shout out to the retaliator from the Clan Rage 2.1. He found me in Global and claimed his free gems. I've got more to give, so if you find me in Global in the coming days, let me know that you're a subscriber and you'll be the next one to receive some free gems. And until next time, my friends, clash on. Sorry, but you listened all the way to the end of the video for nothing.